guys! So I did just get back from Korea and I wanted to share my haul with you guys. I did buy a lot of things. I may not go through everything in detail, but I will show you all the things that I did buy. I won't be showing souvenirs just in case. I will probably be giving them out before I make this video and I don't know if they would watch this video anyway but because they're souvenirs I just don't want to show them in the video and I'm only going to be showing stuff that I bought for myself. So one of the most exciting things that I got were these and actually I didn't buy them there. I asked my friend to order them for me and I just kind of paid him back but I got these. Ignore the little stain on here. Something got onto it but these are the BTS Puma shoes. And I was so excited to get these. Um, the first couple times I looked online, they were sold out of all sizes and they don't ship abroad. So I asked my friend to order it and he got it shipped to his house. And these are the lovely shoes. You may have seen them in a couple videos. I've worn them a couple times already. They're a little bit too big for me, but I kind of had no choice because they were limited on the sizes and it was either a size too small or size too big so well it's actually not even one size I think it's only like half a size maybe it might be one size I don't know actually but yep these are my shoes I really like it it's really simple you almost can't tell they're even BTS shoes but this is a logo that they designed and right under the Puma I don't know you probably can't see it because my camera doesn't focus properly but right underneath the Puma in silver letters it has their debut day, which is June 13th, 2013. And it also comes with um, a chance to win tickets to their fan meeting. I did enter, but I'm not expecting to win. And I don't know if I can anyway, because when we entered it, I put my Japanese phone number as well as that I'm a foreigner. So we'll see what happens with that. But if I do get a call, that would be really awesome. There are photo cards of each member in here as well, but let's leave that in there. And another thing I was really happy with is I got what, myself one of those electric fans and it's a GD1 from his concert. I bought it from the YG store. It was a bit expensive, but it's really good quality and I really like it. It also has three fan settings. And it does have a battery inside, but it's rechargeable. I don't know what would happen if this ever dies because I do not know what kind of battery this is. But it is rechargeable. There's a little USB port. I used this quite a lot when I was in Korea. It did get pretty hot. Sometimes I didn't bother because I always had my phone out and I had it on a selfie stick and it was just too much to carry. So unless it was really hot, I didn't really use it but I liked having it with me. And I bought some face masks while I was there. This is supposed to be like a really popular brand right now. So I bought one box of this. And then I also bought a few like individual ones. They're pretty much all on sale. And I just found like some that looked really cool and I wanted to try like this one's a gold mask. So maybe I'll try that one in a video, I don't know yet. But I got some face masks. And these are from Mediheal, the ones that are getting really popular recently. They are a bit on the pricey side though. Then I went to Nature Republic and got an eye cream. Uh, I've been needing a new eye cream and this one's a snail one so hopefully it'll work nicely for me. Uh, my Under my eyes and stuff, I've been noticing a little bit of dryness and stuff so let's hope this helps. And if you have any questions about any of these, just leave a comment down below. Uh, like I said, I'm not really going into too much detail because I bought a lot of things, but just ask if you have any questions. And then I got this. Isn't this so cute? They had all these different designs, but I wanted to go with this one because the cat is wearing traditional clothing. So it's a little pouch and it comes with like a key holder, a little mini key holder. So that was cute. I also bought this when I went to the palace. And you can use, there's three ways you can use it. You can use it as a bookmark, you can use it for your hair, and you can also use it as a letter opener. So I would really like to use this for my hair, but because I can use it for any of them, we'll see what I end up using it for. But I really like that there's cherry blossoms. Cherry blossoms are like my favorite thing ever. Then I went to Baniloco, 
And I got this. It's just a cleansing balm. And it's supposed to be good. I know it's gained a lot of popularity, so we'll see how good it actually is. But I am going to need a new one sometime within the next couple months. Definitely before I go back to Korea. So I thought I'd buy this now. So then I went to Tony Moly and I got this tightening cooling pack, which is supposed to help kind of shrink your pores. My friend said she tried it and it really helped her. So I'm hoping it works for me as well. But yeah, I thought I'd give it a shot. I also went to Holika Holika and I got this pore primer, which is supposed to kind of like help smooth out your pores. Let's hope that helps. It was a, it was a bit on the cheap side, so I thought I'd give it a shot. I do have problems with using primers because they tend to break me out or they don't work with the cushion I use. So we'll see how this one is. But I also got this. It's a cream blush and it comes with like a puff in it. But I just thought it was so cute because it's... I just thought it was cute because it's Gudetama. And then I also have like a lip balm. This is the cutest thing ever. And they gave me a bunch of samples. And I know I mentioned Moonshot before. I really like that cushion. Um, it was really good for the winter when your skin is dried and stuff. Some people are okay with it in the summer as well. But I bought some refills for that. This should last me this winter. Um, I really did like it because it did smooth over my pores and it was really long lasting. And it didn't get too shiny until like the very end of the night. So let's hope it stays the same. I know sometimes if you use a cushion too much, it kind of changes the way it works. But yes, I bought two more of that. It came with some samples and stickers. And then I also went to Misha. Um, I used to buy like almost everything Misha because those were the only things I could find reviews for. But there is one thing I really like from there and that's the Time Revolution Essence. Uh, I've, I don't even know how long I've been using this but I really like it. It's like, I think it's fermented something. Yeah, I've been using this for a while and I'm going to need some soon so I thought I'd go ahead and buy this now. And I also bought their new Time Revolution, the Vitality Cream. I had a sample of this once and it seemed to be pretty good. It only had one use in it so I can't say whether it broke me out or not but I thought I'd buy it anyway since I was there. And it's supposed to help with like wrinkles and stuff so let's hope it prevents me from getting some wrinkles. And that lady there was so nice like not everywhere I go gave me samples. I know a lot of times they usually do but some places I didn't get any or some places I only got like one or two. But for buying the two things I got this for free which is the whole kit for the Time Revolution. So I'm really excited to try that. Now I've tr this is what I bought and I have tried this before and I do have a bottle but I don't care for it too much. Maybe I'll give it another shot, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's really cool because it came with this kit for buying two things. And then... There was other free options I could have chose from and I was kind of torn between it but the lady at the store kept insisting on this one and because I was kind of questioning the other one she was like okay let me give you some samples then if I give you samples will you go with this one because this one's better. I was like okay so she gave me these samples <laughs> and they're gonna take me forever like I have two face masks and a bunch of like other things. So it's going to take me a while to go through these samples, but sa free samples are always good. Can't complain there. And I even have a cleansing foam. That lady was really awesome. You know, if, if they try to sell you something and you kind of be hesitant about it, sometimes they'll give you a bunch of things for free. Okay, so I'm down to the last couple things. I thought it would take a lot longer than this, but because I'm not really explaining things, and I'm just kind of going through what I bought. It's actually going by pretty quick. But I bought some tea. Um, I have a lot of tea and I don't really need more. But apparently this one's really famous and it's from Jeju. So it's specially made there and all their tea comes from them. And so I thought I'd buy one just because I wanted to try it and it's famous there. And I went with the red papaya black tea. So let's hope this is good. And one more thing I bought from that store is this. It's a green tea milk spread. I was with a few friends and the ones that have tried it all said this was good. The ones who haven't tried it said they've heard about it and wanted to try it. So I went ahead and bought it. I don't really know what to use it for, I guess, on bread. 
If you have any good ideas what to use this for other than bread, let me know. I'll give it a try. I'm down to my last thing. It's something I've been wanting to try for like ever. And I know it's like old news. Everybody's seen videos on it and stuff. But I finally got myself a bowl of those fire ramens. According to my friend, this is the old version. There's a newer version that's hotter. But they didn't have any at the time. So I just went with this one. And I have two. So I'll probably invite a friend along and we're going to try this together and see how spicy this really is. I do like spicy and a lot of times what people say are spicy is not spicy to me. I do believe this will be spicy though, but we'll see. Especially because I haven't been having a lot of spicy food recently. So my tolerance for spicy has gone down a bit. Like I did try um, rice cakes when I was up there and my friend said, why don't you try the hot one? It was so hot. It was too hot. But he said after that even the normal is too hot for Koreans a lot of times. So I probably should have went with the normal instead of the hot. But I ate at least half of it and I tried my best. <laughs> so let's hope I can eat these and look forward to this video because I'll be making a video on this one. So those are all the things I bought in Korea. I'm really excited to try them. I probably bought way too much stuff and won't be able to go through them for a while. But I'm really happy with all the things I bought. And I'm already missing it there, and I really want to go back. Hopefully, it won't be too long before I go back again. It already took me almost three years to get to Korea. Because I've been in Japan for so long, and Korea's right there. It's cheap. But because I was paying tuition by myself, and I was working a lot, I just didn't have the time or the money to go. So hopefully now that I'm kind of catching up with everything and I'm working full time, hopefully it won't be too long before I get to go back, but I really want to go back again. And that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I also forgot one more thing that I bought. It was this shirt. And it's from the 8 Second Store. And it's one of GD's pick. And it was on sale. It was part of the only reason why I bought it. But it has GD's head on the back. And regular price, I think it was about $60 or something, which is too much for me. Like, I never buy clothes that expensive. But it was on sale for $25, so I thought it would be perfect. It would be good for fall as I go over. It's a bit too hot to wear it right now. It's kind of thick material. I think that was the reason why it was on sale, is because it's more of like a spring kind of clothing. So they probably put it on sale just to kind of get rid of it. And it was the last one, too. So I'm really happy with this.